Hello everybody, Ian Robson, and welcome back to an episode of Small Town USA. So I was asking you guys about this tractor right here and what you guys didn't like about it. And from uh, the general consensus, a lot of people didn't like the fact that it had tinted windows, was one of the big things that people didn't like. Um, and the other thing was how loud it was. <laughs> those are the two biggest gripes I, hear, I heard people talk about, which, you know, honestly enough, um, those are probably my biggest gripes about this, uh, this particular tractor. Uh, definitely the the tinted windows and then the the noise of it or I should say the sound of it and apparently I don't know if that's true or not but someone was saying that the actual engine note isn't the engine note this tractor would actually have so kind of interesting little side note there so anyways uh, we've got a couple things going on I got the Mass Ferguson just fertilizing field number 32 here and I'm gonna get this guy to I'm gonna get him to go to the field up north and let's get that moved around here and we'll have him set up so he goes to he's already been to field number one so he needs to go main farm to field number 32 so there we go that's that one and that I don't know where the course is but there it goes. There we go. Turn this data back up a little bit. Yeah, but it's fair enough. That is kind of a louder tractor. Um, so it makes sense. What I could do actually is uh, the vehicle volume. I can turn that down a little bit there. But um, yeah, that's kind of interesting. <laughs> one of the things that people pointed out, which is true. It is on the louder side. Uh, and depending on what you like to do and how you like to play, like sometimes. Uh, if you like to use one particular tractor for an extended period of time, some things when you have those louder tractors, you're like, ugh, my brain hurts because you get a headache or something like that. So, anyway, let's let this guy finish up. He is on his last pass right here, looks like. And then you're going to send him off to the next field over there. Now, we almost have enough money to buy field 16, which is the little small field just north of field number one there. So. Let's see. Let's see what we got. What on earth is that? All right, whatever. Um, let's see. We have ooh, a little bit of wheat. We could probably make enough money with the wheat. Yeah, maybe just enough. Iceman grain. Nope, there we go. Perfect. He's already set up for Iceman grain, so we'll have him set and sell one more load of wheat. I believe that's what he's set up for, if I had to guess. Yeah, good. So he'll sell one more load of wheat, and we should get enough money to buy field number 16. Should be in the keywords here, of course. And apparently our cow productivity is done. They don't have any TMR. So let's hop into this tractor right here. Oh, let me show you this. This was kind of neat. I was messing around with this the other day. Uh, let's see. What did I call it? Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. I wasn't sell grain. There it is. So this is a random uh, course I was just fiddling around with uh, yesterday. I'll just show you what it, what it, what it does. Uh, drive course. So, if you're wondering how this is going to work, well, you'll probably guess. So the tractor lowers its bucket. It collects some of the silage there. It has a problem with it being too high, apparently. And of course, now that I'm sitting here trying to show people, you're not going to do what you're supposed to do. You're going to get stuck, eh? Go figure. All right, we'll, we'll do a take two. What it's supposed to do, essentially, is what I'm going to do right now, is just take this and unload it into the trailer, basically. Whoops. That's what it's supposed to do, at least. All right, let's see if we can show this, demonstrate this. Let's hop back into this tractor over here. So there it is, it's filling up again. It wants to go to that side for some reason, I don't know why. There it goes. It's gonna get stuck again. No, not this time. I don't know. Sometimes course play is funny. All 
Alright, there's the tractor. It's gonna come up and unload right into that trailer right there. I just thought this was a different way of doing it rather than using the uh, rather than using the conveyor belts. Thought it'd be kind of interesting. Pretty neat, eh? Alright, drive now. But that is what the course does, basically just backs it up and then goes back there. Yeah, just a way of uh, filling this trailer up here. Uh, so I could feed it, give it to our cows. Or not uh, give it to our cows. I wanted to give it to, uh, put it in the TMR mixer. Sorry. Oh, well, I could give it some of the cows. They're running at 34% productivity, so I probably could just top them off with a little bit of this. Uh, but at, in reality, what happens is if you give your cows TMR, the silage actually goes up as well. So I'm just going to, maybe I'll give them a little bit more here. There we go, give maybe half. And then put the rest in the TMR mixer there. Well, that's the course I made the other day, I was just fiddling around. I was like, oh, let's just try this to see how this works. Uh, but you can, do to you can do so many things. It's just a question of uh, applying uh, some of the things you could use, like some of the other courses you know, to different scenarios. Uh, there we go, we want this silage right here. So usually that course that I recorded there is for unloading the bunker. Uh, unloading it into uh, not the mixer, but unloading it in, into or the BGA, I should say, not the bunker. Unloading the BGA into the BGA digester is what it's normally used for, at least. We might actually have TMR in here already. I haven't even checked, honestly. Alright, let's take a little jaunt around here because we might actually have a little bit of TMR. Take this wide turn. I don't know. Let's see. What is the no? Oh, no, there is a bit of TMR in there. Not much, mind you. Oh no, that's a lot more than I thought it was going to be. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can get that there. Oh, there we go. It's just because the angle it was at before for some reason. All right, what's this guy? This is 32. Cultivate. First waypoint. There we go. And then grab this guy right here. Move him away for the time being. Because. Oh, where is that guy going? Right now that door is non-collidable as well. Oh, it's like combined two courses. Whoops. There we go. That's what happens when you combine two courses, apparently. There we go, made 50,000, excellent. Set it up for the first waypoint once again. Make sure he goes straight and doesn't mess it up. Good. And then let's go to field 16, pick up that before I forget about it. There we go. Visit that. And we want to buy it. I guess we could do some of these course, these things, but I already have the money, so I'm not worried about it now. There we go. Nice new field. Field 16 here. Looks like it's barley in there. Probably could spray that. Let's move this out of the way here. Good, that guy's working well. Excellent. So now we have a low, we have an extra field here, which is good. Expanding our farm just a little bit. And leave that there, because this is, this guy is gonna need to stay here. So when that cultivator or plow, I guess, is done, we can come back around and uh, do that. I love how they have the one, how you can set up for the number of runs now. That is really slick. Never used to be able to do that, but now you can. Turn that off and come back to this guy here. Give our cows a little bit of TMR. Now, I didn't place that TMR mixer, it was already there uh, in the map, so in case you're wondering. Alright, let's give the cows a little bit of TMR, like so. 
And then their productivity will increase. How many cows did we get? 25? Uh, I think it was like 25. 33. So close. Excellent. What we'll do is we'll swing back around for that little 3 or 5M. I almost said 3M. Uh, 5M. And then we'll uh, fill it up with silage again and top off the uh, TMR mixer. How cool is that? Oh, 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 oh. Not, not quite the right space, apparently. Oh, really? Come on. Right there. Well, at least I know where he's going to dump this time. <laughs> All right, let's make a little turn here. We'll just drive right in that spot. <laughs> I'll have to clean it up later, but at least we know where he's going to dump it now. Or maybe it's not going to work out. Really? Just that little tiny little tiny piece right there is going to stop us from getting over it? Wow. I'm kind of surprised, actually. Even with the diff locks? Wow, this is... Definitely should not have happened. Because that is pretty ridiculous that that got stuck there. Because of that. There we go. Let's see if we can... Uh, nudge this enormous tractor with a small little tractor because apparently... Our big tractor can't get over that little tiny hill. Look at this, that's all it is. Just a little tiny thing, but it's stuck. Can't believe that. <laughs> it's definitely one way to ruin a tractor, that's for sure. that it got that stuck just from this little tiny pile right here. That's all it was. Just a little tiny pile. Just enough to mess up uh, that tractor completely. Oh well. Make a turn here. Unload. There we go. Sometimes Farmson does the strangest things. They're like, like in reality, that little pile would not have stayed like, you know, that like mountainous, I guess is the way, or the word I want to use. It wasn't really a mountain, but it was just like the way it was, uh, the way it was set up, it like, you know, it would get moved around technically if we drove over it like that. I don't know. Why the game acts that way, I'm, I'm not sure, but I think it's about here. Something like that. But uh, that's what you can do with course play. Eventually, what it'll, what it'll do is it'll go f uh, down all in the middle, in the center, and the left and the right. Because like the way you have it set up is it's set for like 2.5 meters. So basically, it goes like this low section, and then it goes. It should go this section and this section. Theoretically, of course. Now is that the right place for that? Let's find out. It should be fine. There we go. Just back this up a little bit more. There we go. Leave that there for him to do his <laughs> little dance. But I never recorded the course in such, a such an odd way. Just because I wanted to line up with the main, uh, main boy right there. So, anyways. Oh, goodness. Strange things happen. Anyhow. Uh, now the question becomes, we have to wait for this guy to finish up and then we need to fertilize that field. Do I have another fertilizer somewhere around here? I guess I could use this guy to fertilize. Uh, I don't know if this one can actually put skinny tires on it. Narrow tires. I think you can. Uh, let's go to our vehicle changer shop. I think you can get tires, skinny tires in this one. A 7700? I think so. Maybe not narrow twins, but just narrow tires. Alright, let's drop off the weight up there. Someone asked me why I do this. It's because I don't want to 
Because I don't want the uh, vehicle shop to detect that there's a weight there, because it's going to ask, do you want to customize the weight? And I don't, obviously. Y tires. Oh, I can do narrow tires. Who knew? There we go. Alright, pick up the weight again. We'll head back. Yeah, but that's the reason why I do it. So so the vehicle shop doesn't recognize the uh, doesn't recognize the weight as something that you can customize because it can be customized. So I just take it out of the equation and just drop it before um, before I need to. One second. Getting a little water break here. And smash things at the same time. I apologize. There we go. Alright, let's cut up the field 16 there. And we can adjust our level to, let's see, what was it? Alt. Or control, control. So this is with the variable, uh, variable spread mod, and that's not the way I want to go at all. Basically, you're allowed to change the the width of the implement. So I have it set up so I just I just changed it to 50 meters, which is ridiculously wide for a little spreader like this. But in reality, you probably would be able to adjust it. Maybe not up to 50, but. You'd be able to adjust it. Oh, I could actually plant this. Thinking about it. Don't know why I didn't start that already. Ah, oh, well, do a little fertilization. Shouldn't take too long. With 50 meters wide, it's like, you know, some for some fields, even some of the bigger fields, it's like, you know, four passes and you're done, basically, so. And the neat thing about the little mod is it actually, uh, with, like, say, GPS, it'll actually detect that it's 50 meters wide, which is kind of crazy. Uh, yeah, I guess this is the best way to go. North, south. Let's adjust. Right about here, maybe. Yep, that's perfect. Turn that on. There we go. This hasn't been fertilized at all. At all. That's why I'm fertilizing at least once here, so... Hopefully. Hopefully. We got a little bit more out of this field than uh, a really low barley yield. Or barley crop, I should say. And apparently one of the interesting little mods, uh, I think Alex was talking to me about it, is that uh, with a chopped straw mod, uh, it actually adds one level of fertilization when you cultivate it under, which I thought was really neat. I'm happy they did that with that mod because it makes your life a lot easier. So you can basically cultivate, fertilize, and then seed, and then you're done. So you don't have to fertilize before. All right, there's that. Good. Yeah, this is going to be like three passes, I guess. Maybe a bit more. Not by much, though. But that's the that's the uh, the interesting part about this mod. The very width mod, I think it's called. The very spread, something like that. So the mod hub. I thought it was kind of an ingenious, ingenious little idea because all you need to do is just change the, the width and then everything else just adjusts automatically, which I thought was kind of neat. Simple little, well, I don't know if it's simple a script, but it's kind of a cool little idea because it allows you to do stuff like this where... You can use a small spreader and just, you know, set it up to however you want. And the interesting part is you can actually increase or decrease the width. So you can decrease it down to like 12 meters if you wanted to. So like if you only have a tiny little strip left and you don't want to use 50 meters worth of spread, you can uh, just adjust it, which I thought was kind of neat. Oh, maybe it's going to be one more than that. There we go. But uh, it always surprises me how much faster this feels than uh, how much faster this feels than um, using the sprayer. It's crazy. You don't realize it, but when you actually do it, you're, you get pretty surprised. So, all right, let's finish up this field here. Got one pass left to do, from the looks of it, at least. And then we'll be done this field, and then this will be ready to well, ready to be harvested at least. Because, yeah, I guess that will be ready to be harvested, basically. Yep, 
Hey, let's grab this little beat piece here. Actually, there's going to be a little tiny strip left. Watch this. Yeah, just a little tiny one. Because it'll be just that little section right over there. Go figure, eh? Yeah. That's annoying when it's a little tiny section like that. And you're like, oh, there's only a little tiny bit left. And like, ah. But also, with a very very width mod, you can, you could theoretically, um, you know, adjust it so it's the right width for that last little section, but I don't care that much. We'll just do a little turn here like so. And finish up like so. There we go. In reality, even with narrow tires, you'd still be leaving tracks in your fields, but... Luckily for us, narrow tires doesn't do any damage at all. And that's that. Perfect. Don't go in the water again. Sheesh. Excellent. So there we go. Picked up a new field. Did a little bit of field work in the other fields. This is good. What I'll do is, I guess we'll go this way so I can change the tires out. And this is just the, I guess, yeah, that's the right side. I hope it should be. Oh, no, it's not. It's totally not the right side. I don't know. Maybe it is. Just seems like a really ridiculous way to get there. Like the long route. So let's go on this side of the road. I don't know. The roads are nice to drive on sometimes. Like I've stated many times now, but not all of the time. You know, once in a while short little periods of places but not not like this long this this is like you'd have been oof, i don't know it would have been like what 20 kilometers an hour for a whole section there so a little bit too much of the bumpy road so i'm just going to demonstrate what happens is if you don't take all your implements off so like let's say i want to adjust the tires again oh now it wants to adjust this i don't want to adjust that so that's the reason why i take off the front wheat then go back here and then maybe now it's gonna be like do you want to adjust the <laughs> you want to adjust the other things uh, there we go but that's the reason why I do it just because it always wants to customize the weight because it is customizable as opposed to some other things that aren't so anyways let's park this up like so. Excellent. Perfect. Nice. Alright folks, that'll be it for me for today. Hope you enjoyed the episode of Farming Simulator 17 on Small Town USA. My name's Ian Robson. If you enjoyed, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button for some more Small Town USA. Catch you guys later.